Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got a bit of a skincare haul for you all. Um, I was in London last week and that is usually where I tend to pick up all my new products and I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you today. I've got a few bits, more than a few bits from Glossier. I've got some Paula's Choice, one product from The Ordinary and something from Hadalabo, which finally launched in the UK, which means it's available throughout the EU. So you don't have to import it from either Hong Kong or directly from Japan. If you are new here and you love skincare, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can also ring the bell if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video, which is usually on Wednesdays and Sundays. All right, so I'm gonna get started with the Glossier. Now, actually, I'm gonna get started with the Glossier Cosmetics because I mentioned in a recent video that I was gonna pick up a new stretch concealer and a new skin tint in the new shades. They've expanded the shade range and before, I'll show you what I have been using. Before I was using medium, which is really good for me. I tried the concealer in light and it was just too light for my skin tone. Personally, medium has been really, really good, but a tiny, tiny bit yellow. Um, so I was thinking with the new shades, I could get the same kind of depth um, on more of a neutral base. So the shade that I went for, based on how they recommend it on the website, was G8. They say that G9, I'm almost sure this is right, they said that G9 is basically a dupe for the medium, so G8 is on the same level, but just with a neutral undertone, so I thought that that would be perfect for me. So in terms of the concealer, I'm gonna show you both. They're very, very similar um, in color. There isn't a huge amount of difference, and it does kind of seem like you know, a good match. This one is the medium and this one is the new G8. I will say I kind of, I didn't have the original stuff with me when I arrived in London and my first impression was that they both looked really dark. But kind of since I've got them back compared, I do feel like that is a good match. However, in terms of the skin tint, I, which is, this is also in G8, same as the um, stretch concealer. I feel like this is a lot darker. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but it is dark. I'm wearing both of them now and they definitely give my face a bit of a tan. So yeah, it seems strange that that has come up, you know, quite a bit darker than the medium. Um, so it would have been really good if they had a pop-up in London where I could go and try the products um, you know, in person and see what they are. It's really kind of hit or miss buying cosmetics online. But I'm okay with them. I just wish that this was a tiny bit lighter and I probably wish that the concealer was a tiny bit lighter. So I don't know if I chose incorrectly. They have got many shades now and I feel like they've got something that's in between a medium and a light which might be perfect for me but I just don't know. Maybe I would get that one and it would be too light. So I am I am enjoying them but it's not definitely not the perfect shade. But one thing I will say is I was a little bit concerned because I heard that they had changed the formula slightly. Now I haven't noticed a change in the formula. I think that this is probably like a tiny bit more slippy, like it glides across the face a little bit more, but it kind of still has that nice glow that I really, really like from the skin tint. So that hasn't changed. And in terms of the concealer, the formula has still got everything that I love about it. It's still got that really nice um, creaminess that I really, really love that doesn't sit in my fine lines as much as other concealers. So in terms of the formula, I'm still really, really happy. I just need to kind of perfect it in terms of getting the right shade. Now Glossier have brought out their additional serums in larger sizes and I've got all three. I've used all of them in the past and I have um, reviewed most of them, if not all of them in the past. I'll do, I'll either put links to them below. I am considering 
reviewing them all again because I feel like the last reviews could be better. So maybe I will do that. But basically, yeah, they were just only available on, I think, 15 mil before, which is just too small for a serum. So now that, yeah, they're in this kind of like standard sized 30 mil, which is the same as a serum from the ordinary, I believe. Um, so that's much better. They all seem exactly the same. One thing I have noticed that is different though is that vitamin C is different. It was, the vitamin C was like a, it was more water-like, it was transparent, but now it's got this like creaminess to it. But from what I can tell, um, it hasn't changed the formula in terms of like the performance or exactly what type of vitamin C that they use in it. I have just got my computer here, so I am just going to give you the facts on the serums in terms of like what we're working with. So the niacinamide is a 5% niacinamide, and it's also got the zinc, and the vitamin C is a 5% magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Basically, my experience with it is that it's a super kind of, um, uh, like it's not, a ge it's a gentle, vitamin C, really nice to wear during the day, in the summer, when it's nice and hot, it's going to act as an antioxidant, but it isn't going to irritate your skin. It will work very gently on kind of like brightening the skin, but it's not super powerful like other vitamin C. So I kind of just think that it's nice as an like antioxidant serum during the day. It's not really something that I would look for to reverse damage like to reverse fine lines to reverse pigmentation it's more of just like a a general kind of like everyday easygoing maintenance that isn't going to give your skin any problems then the hyaluronic acid so this is basically two percent hyaluronic acid and they've also got the uh, pro vitamin b5 in there and basically what that does is that just help, helps keep the skin kind of like balanced and nice and smooth and soft. The last product that I'm going to show you from Glossier is the Bubble Wrap. So this is their brand new eye cream, which I'm really excited about. So basically all of, most if not all of the products that I'm going to show you today are going to be reviewed individually in more detail. Um, so this is just like a, this is what I've got, like a haul unboxing showing you guys and then everything will be spoken about in more depth in future videos. But this is um, an eye and lip plumping cream, which I've been using. I'm obsessed with um, the packaging of this. I think that it's really nice. It's really practical, the packaging, but it's just super cute and lovely. So it's airless. It is in an opaque package. So it's just perfect packaging. Gonna keep the product nice and fresh. And what's really good about this is you get 22 mil of product, which is really good. So it's basically got lots of hydrating ingredients in there. There's a peptide in there, it's a tripeptide. So it's gonna be nice and nourishing for the eye. It's also got hyaluronic acid and glycerin and some kind of natural oils in there. So it will help keep the eye nice and hydrated and the peptides will work on wrinkles. So far I think it's a really good launch from Glossier. I look forward to trying out a little bit more and then doing a proper review on it very very soon. I picked up one product from The Ordinary whilst I was in London and it was the Alpha Lipoic Acid 5% which I've got here and I was asking the guy in the store about this and he because all I know about it is that it's like for dull like cluster skin and it will brighten it up. Um, but basic, and it's also good for like wrinkles as well. So I thought that was quite interesting. And he basically said that it's a super potent antioxidant as well. He recommends that you use it at night. So that's what I have been doing. And he said that it kind of has an exfoliating effect on the skin, but it's not an exfoliator, but it does slightly have that effect. So he doesn't recommend that you use this in combination with an exfoliating acid or any other kind of active such as vitamin C or retinol because it might just be too much and cause sensitivity on your skin so it's worth bearing that in mind. I've been playing around with it a little bit but I do need to give it a lot more kind of uh, thought and consideration before I do a review on this. Next two products are from Paula's Choice, which are really, really exciting. They're really good ones. Um, I really wanted to try an SPF from Paula's Choice. So I've got the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's also got 
antioxidants in, it's got green tea extract um, and it's got soothing plant extracts. This is really nice. I've been using this. It's a really fluid formula. They say that it's for normal, oily and combination skin types. But again, this needs to have its own review, which will be coming soon. And then in addition to that, I've got the eye cream that a lot of people have been raving about. I think that Renee um, Gothamista first spoke about this and it's their Ceramide Enriched Firming Eye Cream. And it's got retinol and vitamin C in. Now I have been using this so far. I've been really, really liking it. Paula's Choice products are always packaged very very well so it's in airless opaque packaging um you do only get 50 ml of product even though this packaging looks quite big 50 ml is kind of like standard for an eye cream but it's got a really nice consistency it hasn't given me any irritation i just need to carry on using it because retinol will take a while to work um, in the skin to show results but so far I've been really impressed with how mild it is. I've been using it at night and um, I'm really excited about that because it can be quite difficult to use retinol products around the eyes. A lot of them you definitely shouldn't be using around the eyes. So it's really nice to have a product like this that can hopefully work on those fine lines that are kind of building up as time goes by. The last one that I'm going to show you is from Hada Labo. Now it's finally launched in the UK on Amazon and they've completely changed the packaging and I know that they have also tweaked the formula slightly because EU like regulations are very very different and um, so I know that they had to change some of the ingredients in this so it's not going to be exactly the same formula but it's basically um, the equivalent of their lotion so it's got I believe three different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid in this you get 150 ml of product for around 15 pounds so it's got you know it's just as affordable as it is in japan i must say though that i prefer the japanese packaging with the blue bottle i just think it's lovely this does come with a pump i'm going to say that it comes with like one little cap that goes on here and then this other little cap that goes on top i will say it doesn't travel well it leaks really really badly I attempted to film this video yesterday actually and I filmed the whole thing and afterwards um, I had like toothpaste on my lip or something so I had to film it again today but literally in the video I'd taken this out of my suitcase and I hadn't opened it since and I opened it in the video and all this hyaluronic acid like poured out. It leaks really badly though, as you can see. It's kind of went over my leg and on the floor, so it really does leak. So I don't know if that's just this particular one that I got unlucky with, or they've got an issue with the packaging in general, but I am gonna send them a little note on Instagram just to let them know in case they need to work on that, because um, yeah, it's just not great to travel with. But in terms of how it works as a hyaluronic acid, it's really, really good. I've been putting it on my neck and my arms and everything because you get so much for your money that I'm really, I'm kind of just using it all over my arms. And I have to say my skin has been much softer since I've been using it. So I'm really, really happy with that. And I, I'm i not 100% sure, but with the Huda Labo lotion that I've got, you have to be really careful with that because a lot comes out of the container. Um, and if you put too much on your face, it can go really, really sticky. And with this, I don't know if it's because of the pump I'm not using as much, but I have a feeling this might be slightly less sticky than the Japanese version that I've got. I don't know. Um, I need to test it out a little bit more. But so far, I'm really good. It's just a solid multi-molecular hyaluronic acid that is fantastic value for money. And if you're just using it on your face and your neck, it will last you for absolutely ages so i think that's brilliant so there's no excuse for anyone out there not to have hydrated skin one thing i nearly forgot to mention is the sunday riley a plus high dose retinoid serum i literally finished the video and realized that i'd forgotten this which is like one of the ones that i wanted to show you the most so this i know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a review on this because I did a review on the Drunk Elephant, so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. And also, I love Sunday Riley products, so um, that was another good reason as well. So I've been using this 
again, is going to have its own review. But it basically says this is an advanced strength retinoid serum that delivers 6.5%, a 6.5% solution of stabilized retinoid blends and botanical retinol alternative extracts into the skin. So basically they've used a variety of different um, retinoids. I think that it can kind of confuse people by saying 6.5% because 6.5% retinol would literally make your face explode. So it's not, um, it's not going to do that. I'm not going to give too much away just yet because I haven't been using it for that long. But one thing I will say about this is that it's definitely potent, but it's not incredibly uncomfortable on the skin. And a great thing about this is you, you some of you will know because in past videos I've been talking about how my skin has been playing up and I've been getting blemishes and breakouts. Since using this, my skin has been um, pretty much blemish free. So it's really helped kind of clear up my blemishes. They weren't super bad, but they were different. It was different for my skin. It wasn't usually like that. So I'm going to continue to use this and come back with like a first impressions video soon. And then later on down the line, I'll do another follow-up video as I tend to do with these types of products like three or four months in. If there are any of these products that you would like me to review in more detail specifically first then let me know in the comments below and I will see if I can push it to the front of the queue. It's always nice to know what you guys want to know about so I can continue creating that content. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.